In this video, we'll go through the process of setting up cameras and exporting 3D views, as well as QuickTime panoramas. By default, every project already has cameras placed automatically by the program, but we also have user cameras that allow us to save our own views. Cameras can be added and adjusted in 2D using the camera tool. Or in 3D via the camera properties tab of the inspector. In this type of the inspector, we have all of our predefined cameras, user cameras, and movie tracks. We can rename our user cameras by just double clicking on them and typing in a new name. Now, once we select a user camera, we can see that a translucent icon appears in the top right hand corner of the 3D view. The same icon appears when we add a new camera, and what this means is that we are changing the position of our camera as opposed to just walking around our interior. To set our point of view and exit back to the regular walk around mode, we just need to either press escape or click on any point in the 3D view. If we're happy with our camera, we should probably lock it and we can do that in the project tree. Here we need to click the lock icon next to our camera. Once we do that, we can select our camera but we can't change any of its properties on purpose or by accident. Also take note that clicking on our camera in this list shows its perspective in the preview below. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how Live Interior 3D exports these 3D views to picture files that we can send out to our friends or family. To do that, we need to select a camera then click the camera button in the 3D toolbar or click export 3D view in the inspector. In the export dialog, let's select the destination, the format, and the resolution. Note that the Pro Edition allows us to export to larger resolutions and even enter in a custom size. After that, we need to set the quality. Then the program exports the view and offers us to open it in preview. Now, if you want to save a 3D panorama, go back to the export dialog and in the format drop down menu, select QTVR. Clicking on View opens our panorama in QuickTime 7 and we can look around our room. Note that QuickTime 7 is required to view QuickTime VR files. Well, that basically wraps it up for 3D views and panoramas. Be sure to check out the next video to learn about creating movie tracks and exporting videos.